Hello, I'm Bill and I'm a field application engineer. Welcome to this Omron Tech Talk. During this video, we'll see how to set up a Sysmac NX102 controller as an OPC UA server and use this with an OPC test client, the test client in this case being UA Expert from Unified Automation. Note that the OPC UA function only works with Ethernet IP port 1 on the NX102. If we check the settings here for the Ethernet port, that means this port and notice the IP address I'm using. This is the default IP address for port 1 of the NX102. The OPC UA server function cannot be used for port 2. I have a simple program here where I'm picking up actual position and velocity of a servo and copying these to two variables which will be read by the OPC client. Two important notes about these variables. Firstly, for OPC UA clients to see them, they must be defined as global and they must be defined as publish. Notice you get three options here, publish only, input and output. This is only relevant for Ethernet IP communications. For OPC UA communications, any of these will do. In my case, I select publish only. Now we can set up the OPC UA server itself. To do that, in the configuration and settings window, we go to OPC UA server settings here. Double click, these are the defaults. Default is, not, is to not use the server, so we click the use radio button. Notice the port number. The default port number of 4840 is used by OPC UA, TCP and UDP traffic. We can also specify to record event logs. When selected, the NX102 will log events to files on an SD card inserted into the CPU, such as when the server starts, client login, certificate actions, and so on. We can now go online with the controller and transfer these settings to the controller. Once complete, note that you must either reset the controller or cycle power to it. To reset the controller of Intact Studio, make sure the controller is in program mode. Then from the controller menu, select reset. Note that Sysmac Studio automatically comes offline as the NX102 reboots. The NX102 is now rebooted, so we can go back online. And once online, we can check the status of the OPC UA server. So right click over the settings and select server status. And we can see the server is running. And it also gives us the endpoint. So this is the IP address of port 1 of the NX102 and the 4840 port number. This will be used by the client for its connection to the server. We can also check the security policies supported. Again, right click over the server settings and select security settings. These are the security policies that have been, been enabled on the OPC UA server. And we can also add in users. This prevents anonymous logins. To do that, I can add a user, type in the username. And give him the password. and then tick the prohibit radio button to prevent anonymous logins. Once we've done that, we can transfer this to the controller. That's it for the NX102. We can now move on to UA Expert. UA Expert is a free download from the Unified Automation website here. The first time you run UA Expert, a dialog window will prompt you to create an application instance certificate. This is needed to create a secure channel identifying the installation of UA Expert. Once created, you can view this certificate by clicking on Settings, Manage Certificates. And there is 
the certificate. We can now add a connection to our NX102 OPC UA server. To do that, click on server, add, double click here, and enter the endpoint, which is the IP address of the NX102, together with the 4840 port number. Click on OK. If the server is online, we will see it here. And if we expand this, this interrogates the server for the security policies that are supported. For this example, we'll select the highest level. And now we can enter in the username and the password. With UA export, you have to tick the store box here to enable you to enter the password. And click on OK. And we can try and connect to that server. Click on server and connect. Notice the error message we get. Bad certificate untrusted. This is because the server certificate read from the NX102 has not yet been validated. To validate, click on this button here. And then continue. At any time, we can view this trusted certificate. To do that, click on Settings, Manage Certificates, and we can see it there. So this is the trusted OPC UA server certificate from the NX102. If we try to connect again, notice we have still failed to connect. This is because the server needs to trust the client certificate. The client certificate can be found by clicking on settings again, manage certificates, and then click on the open certificate location. This shows you the trusted certificate. So these are trusted server certificates. The client certificate lives in this folder here. I'll close this and we can now bring that certificate into the NX102. To do that, we go back to Sysmac Studio. We are still online. We right click, select client authentication, and now we can add the client certificate. The client certificate will live in this folder. So we select it, click on open. This dialog has popped up because I have had a previous certificate loaded, so this is just asking me if I want to overwrite it. I will say yes. We can now return to UA Expert and we can connect to the, the uh, server again. We have now successfully connected. I'm in the address space pane. We can now see the name of the controller CPU. This name is the same as the name that we have given the controller in Sysmac Studio. And if we open that, we can now see the global variables that have been published. I can select those two variables and drag them into the data access view. And we can see a live update of our values. And if I turn the motor shaft, you'll see position and velocity change. That's it. I hope you found this helpful.